Hello guys, welcome to GMAT Point. In this video, we are going to discuss about the GMAT score report. The GMAT or the Graduate Management Admission Test is one of the most widely taken MBA entrance exams globally and it is organized by the Graduate Management Admission Council. The GMAT is a test that's known to assess your analytical and critical thinking abilities and it's a computer adaptive test. Now if you're planning to take the GMAT and you're wondering how the scorecard or the score report looks or what exactly is mentioned on your GMAT score report and what's an enhanced score report and so on. So in this video we'll be discussing everything about the GMAT score report, what's provided and what's not provided on your score report, the unofficial and your official scorecard and we'll also discuss briefly about reporting your scores to the B schools, about the scores cancellation and so on. So in this video we'll be discussing all such key aspects regarding your GMAT score report. So let's get started. Alright, before we start, let me quickly run you through the free resources that we are offering at GMAT Point. So if you are someone who is planning to take the GMAT, you can kickstart your preparation with GMAT Point. We are offering 5 free topic tests each on Quant and Verbal and additionally we are offering free GMAT daily tests. So these are free tests which you can take every day on our website gmatpoint.com and when it comes to preparing for exams like GMAT, having a peer group is extremely important. So you can join our telegram group wherein you can post and discuss your queries with peers and also exam experts. We are also launching a GMAT course very soon. We will be updating you immediately once it's launched, so stay tuned for that update. Apart from that, if you have any other queries regarding the GMAT preparation or the tests that we are offering, you can reach out to us at support at the rate gmatpoint.com. You can also WhatsApp or call us on this number 6303239042. Alright, so firstly, let us have an overview of the GMAT score report. The GMAT, as we all know, assesses the most important skills for graduate business education and it tests your verbal reasoning skills, quantitative reasoning skills, your analytical writing and also integrated reasoning skills. And your GMAT score report would include these five sections. Your quantitative score, which is mentioned on a scale from uh, 6 to 51 points in uh, one point increments. Similarly, your verbal score ranging from 6 to 51 in one point increments and your total score ranging from 200 to 800 in 10 point increments. Apart from that, your score uh, for the integrated reasoning section will also be mentioned and this ranges from 1 to 8 in 1 point increment. And finally, your AWA or the analytical writing assessment score ranges from 0 to 6 and remember that your AWA score and also the integrated reasoning score are scored independently and these are not included in your total scale score. That is your total final score on the GMAT depends only on your scores in the quant and the verbal sections. So as mentioned, the quant and verbal scores range between 6 to 51 with 1 point increments and this scale score in both these sections is calculated based on an algorithm. And your final score in these both sections will be based on many factors and some of them being the overall number of questions that you answered the number of questions you answered correctly and also the difficulty level of the questions you answered. So these are some of the parameters based on these your score will be given in both these sections. And if you look at the other two sections the IR and the AWA section the integrated reasoning section is not computer adaptive. So only the quant and the verbal reasoning sections are computer adaptive and the integrated reasoning section is not computer adaptive. And your score in this section ranges from 1 to 8 as discussed earlier and the AWA section score ranges from 0 to 6 with uh, 0 0.5 increments. So here the range is 1 to 8 with an increment of 1 point, here the range is 0 to 6 with an increment of 0.5. Alright, now let us discuss about the unofficial score report. So after you have taken the GMAT and you have accepted your scores, so you will be given a printout of your scores uh, at the exam center immediately after you have taken the exam. And on your unofficial score reports, the scores of your quant section, verbal, your total, total or that is your overall GMAT score and also your integrated reasoning scores will be mentioned on your unofficial score report. So these are the four scores that uh, will be mentioned, the quant, verbal, total and your IR score. But your score in the AWA section will not be mentioned in the unofficial score report. You will be getting this along with your official scorecard. Alright, now when will you receive your official score report? So you will be receiving it within 20 calendar days after your GMAT exam. 
you will be receiving your official score report via email so you will be notified through your email that you have received your official score so you can log into your account you can view your scorecard and you can also download it and also they say that you will be receiving your scores within 20 days after you've taken your test but you will be receiving them much sooner usually within uh, one week and your scores will be valid for five years so you can apply to any b school within these five years with your uh, official score report and now let's say you got your official scorecard and uh, you have this doubt can any section be rescored that is which sections can you request for rescoring remember that the rescoring service is only available for the awa section that is the analytical writing assessment section and the rescoring option is not available for the verbal quant or the ir sections so if you want to request for rescoring it's only available for the analytical writing assessment section all right now let us discuss about your score report uh, immediately after taking the gmat that is your unofficial score report and also about your uh, scores cancellation okay so firstly on your exam day before you start your exam you will be having the option to send your scores to five b schools or five programs so candidates have the option to select up to five b schools or programs which they wish to send their gmat score report to so this service is included within the registration fee and you don't have to pay anything extra to send your scores to up to five b schools so here you need to choose carefully depending on your interest because once you have chosen you cannot modify or change these programs you can also send your score reports to more than five programs but you will be charged an additional fee for the same okay now let's say you started your test and you have uh, successfully completed your test and as mentioned earlier you will be getting four out of the five scores that is you will be getting your quant verbal the total score and also your ir score and once you receive your scores on the exam day you can also cancel your scores after you preview your scores so let's say you're not satisfied with your scores you can cancel them immediately or you can also cancel them within 72 hours uh, of the stipulated time let's say you've taken the gmat and you're not satisfied with the scores and you want to cancel them so you can cancel them immediately without any charge but if you have decided to cancel it later you need to cancel it within 72 hours you need to pay some fee to do so and let's say you have actually cancelled your scores and now you want to reinstate them you can do that so if you want to reinstate your cancelled scores you can do so by logging into your mba account and remember that you can reinstate your scores uh, your cancelled scores for up to 4 years and 11 months from the date of your gmat you cannot reinstate your scores beyond this period uh, that is uh, in the 4 years and 12th month so you can cancel it up to 4 years and 11 months and that's because one additional month would be required for uh, processing your uh, score report so before you cancel your scores you must determine if you will retake the gmat or have your gmat official score report submitted to your chosen graduate uh, business programs so if you're not satisfied with your scores depending on these factors you can decide immediately whether to cancel it or not and as mentioned if you decided to cancel it after your gmat you can do so within 72 hours but uh, you need to pay a fee of 25 dollars and also as mentioned you can also reinstate your scores but you need to pay an additional fee of 50 dollars all right now finally let us discuss about your enhanced score report so what exactly is an enhanced score report the gmat enhanced score report gives an in-depth knowledge about your performance in the gmat and a very thorough assessment of your performance and your exam execution so your esr or the enhanced score report provides a complete analysis of your performance during the test by the question type the areas of attention the topics and also the pacing so this will help you improve your preparation if you plan to take the gmat again and thoroughly analyzing your score report will help you plan better for your next attempt so it'll also help you focus better on your test taking strategy and it will also help you to focus on the right areas so it will help you understand your strengths and weaknesses so based on your analysis of your score report you can understand your strengths and weaknesses and you can plan your prep accordingly and also remember that in your enhanced score report they don't reveal the questions that appear on the gmat because gmat questions are never revealed what you'll be getting is only the thorough analysis of your exam that is your section wise performance in detail 
So you'll be getting your section wise performance and also uh, time wise analysis in each quarter of the exam that is in your first half an hour how did you perform in the second half an hour uh, third half an hour and so on and remember that you will not be getting the enhanced score report as a part of your official score report you need to pay additionally uh, you need to pay an additional 30 dollars for it if you want to look at your enhanced score report so you should remember that the enhanced score report is available to better assess your performance in the exam and also your strengths and weaknesses so let's say you're not satisfied with your gmat score and you're considering the re-attempt you can consider looking at your enhanced score report before taking that next attempt even though you have to pay for it, uh, it will be much more useful to you because you will be looking at your section wise performance and analysis and depending on that you can plan for your next attempt in a better way. So these are the key things that you must keep in mind about uh, your GMAT score report. We hope that you have found this video useful. If you have any other doubts regarding the GMAT preparation, please put them in the comment section below. We will try to address as many of them as possible. Thank you so much.